Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris and the Tristanian Empire slash Unified Corporation slash whatever. I hope you are having a great day. It's been a long time since I've played Stellaris. Uh, just due to moving and everything being very busy. Uh, but I have some time to myself tonight, thank goodness. And so I really wanted to get on and play. I think I haven't done a Let's Play video in about two weeks now, I think. So it's definitely time. And I want to progress in this. Uh, in the last episode, we were having some trouble. Okay, this volume sounds kind of loud. Turn that down just a little like that. There we go. We had some trouble trying to pull in uh, these guys that I liberated. And we don't really know what to do with the Holy Rothak Empire down here. We are not relevant down at the southern part. We have a um, fallen fallen kingdom here, fallen empire here. So really, this is our theater at the moment. And I had someone in the last episode in the comments mention, hey, you know what? When you're liberating, you're liberating too much. The reason why these guys won't be vassals. And it's I feel like it's not very clear here. Empire population minus 21%. I guess that means their population is too large. And so because of that, they will not accept. Um, so when I liberate, I need to break off smaller chunks, like perhaps a single planet, maybe two, and try to liberate that instead. So I think that that's what I want to do. Um, but I don't know if I should do it here or actually try to pull in the Holy Rothak Empire. We have been allies with them for a long time, but I do feel like it's kind of time to detach and try that. Uh, real fast, I'm just taking care of a notification here. Uh, oh, I see we've had people leave, migrate away perhaps. Uh, did I build this robot? I really don't remember building that robot. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. We have, tw we're making 23 food, which is actually m exactly enough to fully populate this planet. So I'm actually not too worried about these buildings. Let's, let's actually, oh, not upgrade. Let's actually replace these, I think. Habitability could be nice. Wait, hang on. 85%. So yeah, a clinic could be quite nice. Because that will boost... Oh no, it makes food. Okay, no, we don't want that. We don't want that. Visitor center in reduces xenophobia. Not too worried about that. Alien migration attraction. I really don't want aliens on the core worlds just because my habitability is as high as it can go. So let's just do science labs, yeah? I don't need either one of these. And we'll do the same thing here. Oh wait. No, here. Oh, I see. It's like, why is it asking me to build something when something's already there? Replace it with another science lab. So yeah, that should fix that. And, well, no, that won't replace the people not being there. Um, that's fine. I'll deal with that later. I'll deal with that later. We have our transport fleet sitting here. What had it? Where did? Why is there just one? So you, it's, you can tell it's been a little while since I've played. I'm just kind of refamiliarizing myself really quickly. Got my main fleet here. I have construction ships building things. But there's really not much left to build. I don't need that at all. Yes, take a look at research, shard throwers, sector limits, and battleships. All right. So I think let's do this. Let's leave their alliance. And, oh, oh did I? Did I mess that up? Let's go up to fast speed. Complete. Oh, so I have to wait one year. So one year is not too bad. Let's actually... System survey complete. 
Incoming transmission. Hmm. So they want a non-aggression pact with me now. Zoom back out. Leader skill up. Okay. So they want a treaty now. So if I do this, I'm guessing they want this now because they didn't want to form a treaty with the Holy Rothak Empire because uh, of different war philosophy. So if I set these packs up, my trust will go up by 50, by max of 50. Uh, which means that they could maybe be, be, I could demand vassalization. So let's confirm that and confirm that. And that should go through. So now maximum trust is 100, which means, I'm pretty sure that means as this goes up, right? The trust should influence, I guess we'll see. If it doesn't, uh oh, scientist leader has died. No, we don't have influence to replace him. Uh, okay, so we'll just leave that open. Science ship over here is done exploring or surveying. None of these have been surveyed though. Wait, wait, where are you? Oh, did you get stuck? Oh, no, 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 I forced open borders. That's what happened, okay. That's what it was. So you get in here and you survey all this stuff. Looking forward to automatic surveys at some point. Hopefully that comes in. Just because it takes a while to set all this up. What? Survey. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I'll leave that be for now. This guy is waiting for a scientist so he can help with research. And I still have this colony ship. What was this one going to? Here? I bet it was here. No. No, it wasn't. Oh no, I've forgotten. I'm so sorry. I should have probably checked my last episode before I did this. But that's okay. We'll roll we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. One of these down here, I bet. Uh no. This one? No. I don't know why I... Wh why did I build them? Why did I build that colony ship? No, I've forgotten. Okay. It shows you habitable planets. There. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's down here somewhere. Was it here? Oh yeah, the Najax. Naj, Naj collects on that teeny tiny planet there. And here we got the Tundra. This is waiting for the Domana, Domania. This one too. No, the Cupulsi, the pigs. <laughs> It's waiting for the pigs. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, we don't have tundra colonization yet. Uh, I'm so upset. I don't remember. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and... Wait, was it here? Are they just sitting at the planet waiting for me to tell them to colonize? Here. Oh my gosh, I'm so... I apologize. Ah, oh, that's what it was. Yay. Colonize here. Oh, I can't clear any of that? Mm, okay. That's what it was. Yay. And then I can immediately give that planet to them. So that's fine. 
Okay, anyway, let's unpause now that I figured that out. I need to wait. Um, yeah, just about seven more months before I can declare. And probably what I'll do is honestly just try to liberate one and see if I can immediately pull it in. Scientist leveled up. Influence having a hard time. I, 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 I think I did pick up a few influence related text at some point, so that should be going up a little bit faster. Galactic admin, colonial centralization, planet, yeah, so I do have it. I do have some text, but just not enough. Not enough. Those are not in my borders, no. So I got that, that's gonna be spent a little bit. Let's check on our sectors since it's been a little while. Right now I have them doing energy credits, energy research, because, because they're the biggest. Minerals, I don't need that at all. I need energy credits because whenever I go to war, this number tanks. So uh, let's shuffle a few more over here. Okay, well, they don't need, they don't need that much, but I, ha I have a ton, so whatever. Construction complete. Good, good. Uh, oh, you know what I can definitely do is I can definitely build up my military some more. Because these guys are all going to take... Uh, well, no, because they cost energy credits to build. I mean, to maintain. And I don't really want to lose a ton more, because plus 16 is not very good. I need to probably re repurpose some of my home systems to focus on that a bit better. Yeah, see we're at plus 21, so I can, I can quite literally get rid of some of these. Uh, so we only need 16 to maintain. Right, 16. Yeah, shortage, a shortage makes them unhappy. So we can get rid of a couple. Uh, so let's get rid of this one. We're going to replace it with energy credit, power hub. There we go. And we still have a few over, right? Yeah. We'll see how that goes. The plus three, I might get maybe five or six out of that one. Maybe. But that's not too bad. Alright. Come on. 36. It went up. Okay, so apparently trust has nothing to do with this. I don't understand. Look how huge I am and how tiny they are. How can I not convince them to be a vassal? I don't get it. I don't get it. We're just going to have to take what we want, I suppose. Even though I don't want to do that. Even though my ethos, ethos, xenophile, I love the Malians. But somehow I still have to take them over and kill millions. Oh well. Got another science ship just sitting there. Uh, oh right, he can't survey because there's no scientists attached to him. Uh, I think I'm actually going to tank this ship. And I'm going to tank uh, some of these. Because we're kind of at the point now to where we're going to expand slowly. Uh, I could get this, but again, I don't need energy credit. I don't need minerals. That would be a waste. Construction complete. Agua has finished something. Didn't, it's not telling me. No. I can't believe they hadn't fixed that yet. I really hope 1.3 brings mouse over. Oh, right. It's gonna tell me what it's changing all right so how are we sitting now we're making one food over which is pretty much perfect and we have our power hub which is boosting by some amount we did get the colony done over here so now we have Hishmal prime and that's immediately going to fall into their jurisdiction right I can't clear these so that's fine but I think what I will do is I'll give the subsidiary a little bit extra money 
just so they can clear that planet if they need to. Oh, they got a ton. They're fine. They're fine. Independence guaranteed. That's fine. Still waiting on these guys to get filled out. Let's do that instead. Eight. Uh, I think plus eight is fine for now. Uh, because we want the the boost so we can kind of fill this planet out. I really don't. I don't know why I have this random robot here. We're gonna get rid of him. I think that's gonna make a faction. Yeah. Uh, but that's not gonna matter. These guys want to go free down here, the Iblin. But that doesn't matter. All right, we can, I think, declare war now. Oh no, 2288? Wow, that's going to take forever. And these guys continue to say, uh, okay, whatever. Uh, okay, let's do it here. It's time to go to war. Time to go to war. I'm going to liberate a single planet because I can't do anything else because of my war goals or because of my policy, right? Like I, I want to role play. How would Xenophiles handle this? They wouldn't just take planets. They would liberate them cre to create like-minded or they would liberate the like-minded people in that empire and then vassalize. So we're just going to liberate here, lag, Raga. And we could invite the Interstellar Clag in, yes. They say they won't join. Um, what can I do to get them to join? Humiliate? That actually gives me influence, so I think it's worth adding, or 100 influence. I think that's worth adding 10 war score to get 100 influence, so we'll do that. I don't really care if they come, if the uh, the small liberated area helps. I, it doesn't matter to me at all. And we're going to immediately head there. We are at war, which is good. I don't think they care at all. trust is going up that differing war philosophy man I really feel like that's not right because how do you play peaceful at this point I know I probably am a broken record it's like the ninth or tenth time I've kind of brought that up we're gonna do that uh, let's bring our we have a lot of armies let's consolidate all of them to here to construction complete. Hang on. Here. And we will embark them. Bring them here. Just want to consolidate. Embark them all. Bring them here. And embark them all. And bring them here. There we go. Can we've arrived? Nope. Not quite. We've we will arrive. Oh, we have enough influence now to replace our missing scientist. XP gain. I want to go with a cheaper one, I think, because I, I actually need to pick up one more for this. No, the science ship has one. Then I don't really need to pick up one more, so I just have a bit of influence left over. That's fine. Oh, the music stopped. Now it's going to be awkward. System survey complete. Uh oh. You know what? Maybe you shouldn't be there. Why are they yellow? What? Wait, wait, wait. Am I not at war? What? How did I not go to war? Oh, because they they said no. That's what it is. Okay, so you, science ship, actually, you need to get out of there. So, 
why don't you head up here and just start survey? No. Oh, they've closed their borders towards us. Well, fine. You head over here. Survey there. I actually want to do that before. Uh, before I attack. Or before I declare war. For real, because I don't want this, sur this survey ship to kind of get caught out. Because he's literally like in the middle of all of them. And you'll actually need to leave as well, because I don't think I can be sitting in their borders when I declare war. If it's anything like EU4, I kind of need to leave first. Okay, good. You're on your way out. You are not there. So we can declare war. And again, we're just going to liberate Lagar Lagarga, and we're going to humiliate. There we go. Now we are at war. Uh, you know, they are completely inferior, so I'm not super worried about that. Did I pop in right in the middle? I sure did. Alright, let's see how this plays out. It's going to be really loud. Still haven't fixed that sound issue yet. Hopefully one day. Alright, I think we're safe to bring our fleets in. Actually, let's go consolidate them real fast. Merge them all together. There we go. And then we will move them... Still maybe a little too dangerous there. No, this should be okay. Situation Situation updated. I'm gonna have them go ahead and clear, I think, the whole... Ah, well, no. We'll take out the... Uh, what do you call it? The wormhole. Yeah. All right, I need to pick new physics research, a better reactor, survey speed, energy capacity, power hub two. <laughs> that was my easiest choice I think I've ever made. And with uh, the power hub down, they can't easily bring reinforcements and they have to kind of fly them over slowly. So let's go bomb the planet. And we are, again, kind of stuck with light bombardment, which is fine. I don't think we lost anyone there. I don't think we lost a single ship, which is quite good. Take a look at the surface. It's got your standard 3.5k, which is fine. And my transports are... Oh, they're there. Yeah. So they'll get close. I should have them way more than enough. We have limited special projects. Uh, I'm not going to bother. I'll get the debris later. What, uh, hang on, we've already... We're already at 51%. So, minus 16. So I could just end up end with a humiliation if I wanted to. Which gives us 100 influence straight up. But no, of course not. I want to liberate... The one planet, I don't. I really hope they don't join this group. We'll see. I really hope they don't. Station under attack. Uh oh. Oh no. Wait, really? What station's under attack? They have this guy, this one ship here. That's not under attack game. All right, how's the planet bomber? Okay, good. 500 left. Go ahead and land the armies. 
By the time they land, there should be zero. Oh, that timed that perfectly. Look at that. Down they go. Situation log updated. And we've taken. We're we're almost taking. Wait, what? Didn't I do that? <laughs> you can tell it's been a while. Enemy planet secure. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, we will pull our transports back to here and we will no you guys go ahead and enter orbit there I think is fine so we are at a 100% we should be able to go ahead and hit this both okay all right good Good, good, good. All right, so now we've got another faction, the Consolidated Clagian Stars. Really? Distance? clue what to do what how do you have a little piece of the nah whatever yeah I have no clue what to do these guys won't accept vassalization I can't vassalize them I can't declare war like does anybody know I'm really completely and totally at a loss of what I'm supposed to be do uh, like how do you how do you expand non just like I mean I guess how much time it's already 27 minutes I guess in the next episode I'm just gonna switch my policy to to unrestricted because I mean how else how else do you play this video game <laughs> uh I don't know maybe maybe I'm just missing something but I don't think that I am So it seems like I kind of have to I have to break my treaties off here as well. Right because trust is literally getting me nothing. Like trust isn't showing up here. It's not showing up there. Uh so yeah, I I have no clue. Uh, if anybody has done a pacifist game where you've only done liberation wars, please let me know. I have no clue. I feel like that's a theme with this playthrough. I should rename it Let's Play Stellaris. No clue what I'm doing. So yeah, um, maybe in the next episode I can declare on them. Let's see what I, I bet. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Look, okay, good, 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 good. Somehow that distance thing went away. Oh, thank goodness. Oh man. Oh, that's. Oh, I'm so happy now. I'm so happy. Now you, you accept too. <laughs> Ah. Okay, good. System survey complete. Good. Yes. All right. Good. I'm happy. Get out of here. I don't care. Awesome. I am whittling away the clagging in very slowly. And then in another 10 years. Yeah. 10 years ish, I can integrate them directly and by then I guess I'm gonna have to figure out what to do here do I really have to declare war and like split them up like liberate from them as well uh, I don't know 
I don't know. There's got to be a better way. I'll figure it out. You and I together, we'll work on it. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a good time. This is kind of like my sanctuary. Playing these games with you guys. Just kind of, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. It makes me feel very good, very relaxed. Even though I know I'm kind of freaking out a little bit about just not knowing what to do with this little corner of purgatory going on. But that's okay. We've advanced our position a little bit in this episode. We'll do a little bit more next episode. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.